Hello everybody, I am IGP, the Indie Game Promoter. Welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia, a machine for pigs. In the last episode, we had um, started to collect the things needed to make a concoction to break a lock on the door to progress further. Uh, we just found out from the guy, mysterious guy on the telephones, that the elevator here down to the tunnels are, uh, is uh, sabotaged, so we cannot go into it. Oh, hi. Hi, Cogs. I've seen you before. Um, trying to explore a little bit before I go up the stairs. Okay, so there's nothing else down here. Um, um, yes, that sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. I just want to hear more of it. Just, just blast it in my ears. Okay, bam. Alright, so I'm not going to launch you just yet. I am going to, uh... Does that hurt me? Like, hurt hurt me? I almost don't want to try and die. But, uh, we'll do it anyway. Oh, no, no. That's, there's an invisible wall. I get it, I get it. Alright, time to run! Okay, so there must be a valve to turn off this steam. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Gotta be, gotta be. That's still locked. I missed something, definitely. I don't like the sound of that shit. Um. Hmm. Can those? Nope, there's really not anything. Okay. Alright, so I'm probably going the wrong way. Oh, this is getting bad. All the memories I keep having that uh that Oswald keeps having, it's like pretty much hinting at the fact that he is a very evil man. And he will do whatever is necessary to um get what he wants. Yeah, I mean I figured it's normal that uh you will show up when I get stuff done. Oh my god, I thought that was him. Oh! <laughs> Hi. Ooh, bloody. Oh, they are my children. They are my children. Or does that mean the children are here? That doesn't look, uh... I'm gonna assume that's wine. The kids got into the winery. Ah! The kids got into the winery and spilled it. Oh, see how the, the thing blinks when I... Oh, they're all dead. They're both dead. Oh, I'm seeing red. August 4th, 1898. This is before anything else. Uh, more experienced, the Compound X took the dog and injected it with the sterichine. After the expected convulsions and spasming, uh, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body uh, in a large tank of Compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced. However, damage incurred prior to death was retainable upon re retained upon re revival, meaning the dog continued to uh, uh, in the acute state of st of stri uh, stri shine I don't know what that is sorry poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull okay but drowning perhaps yes it is uh, after all known to be kindest of suicides uh, if one were to drown replacing the fluid in the lungs with combat X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method that is interesting to know there's a lot of uh, reanimation going on here. Are we playing Dr. Frankenstein? Frankenstein, I guess I can go down here now. Yay! What turned it off? Who knows? Please don't scare me again. So, this guy's a genius. I mean, I don't know who he has working with him to, um, you know, create these concoctions, but, um, you know, he definitely is creating some interesting stuff. So we'll set you there. Um, where have I not gone yet? Where have I not gone? I went there. Oh. Uh-oh. I think I done fucked up. Because there's- there's one missing. Okay. Alright. What, uh, what happened here? Okay, I can't take anything off. All of this is closed. Guess I can go back here, maybe? I didn't even see this door at first. Oh, it's locked. Okay, well, I guess, uh... 
I can't take the things out? Can I send these back? No. I guess they only need- Oh, the- Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha, it made one, it made one, sorry. Um, I have a- the compound. It hisses and steams- Sorry about that, I didn't mean to bump the mic. Um, it hisses and- or the webcam. God, I'm stupid. Uh, it hisses and steams in its container like some living thing and witch's jelly to burn and corrode. Um, the container is made from glass. It's a strange choice unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervaded- or pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with the so-called Combat X. I should investigate further for clues. Okay, what do you want me to- oh, no shit! Don't drop that motherfucker! We gotta take this bitch back! Up to the- up to the- up to the, the lock. Put it on the lock. Put it on the lock. Does that mean the guy's up here? Oh shit. Oh shit. Going to uh, examine. Where can I put you? Here. Ah, uh, yes. Aha! Um. I probably should have investigated further. Damn it! What did I do? What did I do wrong? Give me something, I can smack it. I can smack it. Give me- ah, oh, the chair. Give me that fucking- Give me the chair. Get up! Come on! Are you serious? Come on, I'm clearly- ah, oh, what a bitch. Okay. Wait, what? What, 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 what? Huh? Oh, it needs light. It needs light, I gotcha. Aha! So genius! So genius! Oh! Fucking god damn it! God, ah, I hurt my foot. That really hurt. Okay. What are we doing here? I'm so brave right now. I'm really- I'm so- There's so much shit going on, I just feel like I don't have time for anything and just book it. Down here, Daddy. Faster, faster. We're- I'm coming. I don't believe you, you misleading children. What? What is this? Ah, damn it! I didn't mean to hurt myself. Didn't mean to hurt myself. Uh. Oh, that's the first time I've seen that. Okay, I guess I gotta fall. Oh, next level. Okay, this leaking world and the rhododendron seem to be taken over by the garden as well, or by the wall. <laughs> I could dig them for you. No, no, get out. Get out of this house. You leave them be. Holy shit, man. Whee! This game is getting crazy. I wonder if it'll be as obvious um, as the guy says when I meet the saboteur. The guy who's been sab- I'll bet it's me. I'll bet it's me. I'll, I mean, guarantee it's me. I meet myself like Fight Club. Okay. Game says it's not responding. Please don't tell me it froze again. All right, the game crashed, but uh, again, but uh, yep, here we go. We got it working. So I fell down a hole from up there. Somehow lived. That's bizarre. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh man. Ooh, this is the tunnels, right? Are we in the tunnels? Note. <gasps> October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, uh, once bled, the product must be sca uh, scaled, it's scalded. Sorry, scalded. Uh, Dehaired and scraped, uh, ready for gambrolling and evisceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, uh, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and series of large copper pipes in a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature, which controls operations for the processing of product through the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is the most, is the utmost importance, is of the utmost importance, ut most importance god damn it read the fucking text and retaining product quality and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine two problems as therefore combined into a single solution the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others conducting panels draw heat using principles 
of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. That's an interesting technique! You guys are full of fucking bizarre ideas. That's cool. That's cool. That's why you're, uh, that's why you guys are now pigs, right? Yep. Oh, yep. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. That, um, that guy talking was the guy on the phone, wasn't it? The flooded tunnels, a mysterious uh, friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. The, uh, to descend further, I will have to find a local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? Stop you from... The fucking water monster? No! You have got to be fucking kidding me. No, I can't. Yeah, fuck you guys. Seriously? The goddamn water monster. Look at that dump. That's a massive dump. Alright, well. He's electrically charged, like the pig, I imagine. That's why it's, you know, messing with my lantern and. Okay, well, he's in there. So I got uh, the water monster on one side, and then the, um, yeah, this is uh, so cool. This is everything I ever wanted. Everything I ever wanted. Ah, god damn it. Okay, well, down that long hallway with the fucking pig it is. Mr. Oinky, I'm coming for you. Just know this. I'm not scared of you. You're just a pig. You are just a pig. Oh, you sound lovely. I just want to pet you. I can't tell where the sound's coming from, to be honest. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, right. Fucking Jesus. Big mask, hi. Okay, I almost want to go back and find... Um, into that room where the pig might be. Oh, Jesus. Okay, August 1st, 1899. Several of the uh, older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is so calm, and I am not Elibwa... Eliyahu... At least, not quite yet. Um, it is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. Uh, we cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, fetid uh, they become overheated and their duality tears them asunder. As the other place flies from their cell, or as the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters. They have sporadically torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds they are creatures of this world, then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. They are damned places now. The abused failed experiments. Ghosts and fear of spite. So that's awesome. Um, I don't feel safe anymore considering I'm dealing with uh, you know inner inner dimensional beings. I don't feel safe. Let's drain it, shall we? That sounds great. Let the phone ring too. Yay! We? All right, man. All right. What is going on? What is going on? You're not gonna tell me now? And there's gonna be a giant jump scare with a pig! Oh, nope. Fuck you. Fuck you.
Yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's a that's a reasonable reaction. Oh, this is open now. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> Are there really two of them? There can't be. Not cool, man. Not cool. Not fucking cool. I'm gone. I am gone. I am gone. <laughs> I'm gone. Stop it, please. Please just stop. I can't deal with it anymore, guys. You're killing me here. Okay, so that's where I came from, I think. This is up here. Uh, yeah, this is open now, so we'll go down here. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. 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 It's all. Oh. But we can save. Why is this sitting here? We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world. With a clean new one, Mr. Landis, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Wow. Okay. Um, he's completely mad. Okay, yep. Yeah, pig, piggy. Oinky, oinky. You want to stop that? You want to stop that? I don't know where I am anymore. I no longer... Oh, I'm in the beginning. Okay. Down here we go. Um, I went there first. We'll go up here. That's fine. It's fine. Fuck you. And it's closed. Okay. Where? Thank you for running away. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Good, there's a gate. There's a gate. It protects me from what I don't want to encounter. <gasps> Secret note. No one found this but me. Uh, February 17th, 1899. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes, we see it. A tall, weathered cap of a steep-sided pyramid. Uh, so like those of Egypt, stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about intertwining uh, the stucco serpents and thrive about the steps. A uh, palpable sense of stillness, a weight of forgotten. And this here, this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests lived. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. Yes, this uh, talking about the Mayans here, I believe. Uh, no, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads, and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether, or perhaps their tragedy was uh, they could simply not spill enough blood to present, prevent the sky from falling upon them. So that's, that's kind of interesting, because I think that is what is intertwined into uh, Oswald's mind with uh, the world. He, he, in order to save the world, he must do what he's doing now. Sacrificing these people, creating this great machine to create a new world. Um, per perhaps this is his, his mindset. Um, and on that note, I am going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I know this is not a really good time to end it, but I'm out of time. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. Remember to share on Facebook and Twitter with all your friends to help spread the word. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Keep up to date with all my latest videos, including the continuation of this one. So, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.